America, uh, we began as a pioneer in many, many countries, out of which Morocco, where in 10 years we have been able to put and uh, to sustain the uh, automotive industry. And uh, that's a know-how uh, we have to, uh, to share and uh, to see if there are some other opportunities uh, to be and to have a complementary presence in Africa. That's why for me this uh, government policy is interesting. First of all to study and to see after that if our products could cope with the needs and the needs of the consumers in Ghana. That was the main uh, point of our mission with my team for uh, the next, uh, as I for today and tomorrow. We're happy that you're even looking at the prospect of Ghana. We've been in office now for about two years. And when we came into office, the circumstances of our economy were not attractive for the future. Uh, high debt, high deficits, high inflation, widespread unemployment. These were some of the essential features of the Ghanaian economy when we came into office exactly two years ago. And we've been working hard these two years to try and get the macroeconomic fundamentals of our economy back on track. And by and large, we've succeeded. Uh, we've cut down the deficit. The deficit we found in office at 9.3 percent is today way under six. In fact, I think this year, the, the 2019, is a uh, 3.7 in that region. So these restructuring of government finances or the way in which the economy is being managed has been taken very seriously by us. We recognize the importance of discipline in the management of our public finances so that we can create the platform for investment and for, for growth and prosperity. We've even gone to the extent of passing a fiscal law which uh, by law uh, capping the permissible deficits at no more than 5%, and also committing ourselves to a 65% GDP debt ratio. Mm -hmm. So all of this is to put in place Ghana as a, an important investment destination. And by and large, we're, we're on the road to achieving that. And hopefully you will see that yourself here. Uh, apart from the figures, you've also got a hard-working population that with the right leadership, the right uh, management, is prepared to you know, take the sleeves off and, and get down and work and a creative population of that. Uh, I think where we are in West Africa is a matter of, of some advantage to us. We're right in the middle of, of, of the region and are the ones who stride both the Anglophone and the Anglophone worlds of West Africa, right in the middle of it. We're the second largest economy in West Africa. So there are lots and lots of reasons why Ghana is, would be a well-positioned place for you. We're looking upon ourselves as the gateway to West Africa, mm -hmm. to a market of some 350 million people at the moment, which is, scheduled to go up to 500 million by what, 2030? 2030. <laughs> so that's where we're positioning ourselves as, 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 as the gateway nation to West Africa. We would be very happy to have a, a mark as, as prestigious as yours operating out of Ghana. Uh, our relations with France, with the Francophone world, are very strong. I'm one of the few bilingual presidents on the continent. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, and uh, have very strong ties with France, which we want to continue to develop and hold. So we just welcome you.